What's up everyone? So this situation that has been unfolding before everyone's eyes on social media with Danny Lay and rapper Da Baby, which is always just so weird for me to say because if he's a grown man and just calling a grown man Da Baby, I don't know. But anyway, it is what it is, right? This situation is just crazy, and I know that there are a lot of people that don't like this girl for some controversial things that she has proclaimed in the past and how she even, I guess, got with this guy with him already having at least one other child with another chick and how she kind of put herself on a pedestal, especially with her lighter skin complexion. She made a little song that people, a lot of people were not here for, basically throwing it in this other person's face saying, you know, yellow bone is what he want, calling herself a yellow bone because, you know, like people, her complexion sometimes are called a yellow bone or red bone or whatever, basically saying that you are not somebody who is dark skin. And so the baby who is dark skin He seemed to be co-signing it at the time, but at this point in their lives, they are not here for each other, even though they have since produced another child. And um, this is her first child, but he's produced another child. So they have a child together. And I feel sorry for the kid because to watch this, it's like the child has children for parents, pretty much. This is so juvenile. But I also have to say, even though she's made some controversial remarks and she made the little song about being yellow bone, again, I equate that to her privilege of being somebody who is of a lighter skin complexion, but also I equate it to her immaturity. Her maturity level is definitely not there, but neither is his. So they're both on the same wavelength when it comes to that. But she had a baby. They have a three month old child together. And I believe almost every woman, whether they want to admit it or not, no matter how old you are when you have a child, you have issues with your hormones. You had another person completely take over your body for at least nine months unless you you had a premature birth. And so to have a child take over your body, you have so many things that happen that you cannot explain. I believe almost every woman that has had a baby deals with postpartum depression, period. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how much status you have or whatever. It's just, I I believe it depends on your status in society as to whether you recognize it, have the privilege, to be honest with you, the privilege of even recognizing it, because most women or young girls who have children that are not affluent, they don't have a whole lot of money, they don't have the privilege of saying, I have postpartum depression and I need help. They don't have a nanny. They don't have a lot of people to help them. If you're lucky, you have a family member that might help you out every now and then. If you're not married, And even some women who are married, they're not married to people who have that that instinct to be able to take over with the child when you're just like, you know what, I just can't do this right now. So I I sympathize with her on that level, with her being a female, having had a baby. She has a three month old child. And to watch the video of him coming into the room with the phone on live, not just recording it because he said that he wanted to record it so he could have proof in case something went down or whatever, like what happened prior to him going in there and doing that? And could you just not record it on your phone instead of going live if you felt like you needed to have proof to show police officers or or whoever in case something did happen and you needed to show proof that look, I was not the aggressor or, you know, whatever. Did you have to go live? Like you're putting it on display for everybody and he is a well-known rapper. 
And because of him, she is well known as well. Now they say she had a song before him. I don't know anything about her music. I've never even listened to the baby's music. I've heard a few verses of his on other people's music, but I just don't understand why they put all of this out there for everybody to see, but hey, they put it out there so we're talking about it, right? Anyway, looking at that video when he walked into the room, she was giving the baby a bottle. She was feeding their child and he walks in with that. Like he didn't have respect for her, definitely he didn't, but he didn't have respect for his child because what's upsetting the mother is going to upset the child. The child is going to be affected by that. The child is going to feel it and you should not do things like that. And he didn't have any respect for his child at all. For him to walk into the room while she's feeding their baby and he's going off and putting her on live on display for a bunch of cackling hens and you know people who want to be his homie people who are caping for him because they like him they're a fan of him or his music or whatever to call her names or just you know say whatever about her it just was so uncalled for so him doing this and her ultimately being charged with two charges, I believe they said, of simple assault. I don't know what that means. What, like, what did she do to assault him? Did she slap him away? If he was doing that, if, if a guy came into the room while she's trying to feed her baby and he's putting a phone in her face and has her on blast, on live she wasn't made up I'm, I'm quite sure that was something else that offended her as well but definitely more importantly she had her baby in her arms and she was feeding her baby and he walks in and he's doing that it was just extremely disrespectful so whether you you don't like her because of statements that she made in the past or how you felt like she may have got with him and and how she moved with him you know when they were in a relationship together you have the right to feel that way but I have compassion for her as a woman and as a mother and she was feeding her baby their baby when he comes in so that video of him sitting there chewing some hard stale gum smacking on the gum and i can't stand when people smack on gum that is one of my huge pet peeves i can't stand when people smack on food period but you've got the gum just like rolled up out of your mouth and you're just sitting there and just smacking and chewing on it it's so annoying and so aggravating like spit that crap out of your mouth but he was doing that and he's holding the baby and and you know and just trying to make himself look like the father of the year when in actuality Anybody who sees that it has sense about themselves, if they saw that, they would not see him as a responsible parent. They would see him as somebody who was pandering for his audience to make people feel some type of way in on you know his behalf in his favor. And it didn't look favorable to me. So if he walked in while she was feeding that baby and she's trying to shoo him away or kick him away, I felt like that might be what they are charging her for. But again, I don't know the details of what the simple assault charges are <sighs> but to see that he is not the victim I'm sorry I don't believe that if he's doing that to the mother of his child she deserves to be getting charges on that or not I don't, I don't even believe she deserved to get kicked out of the house whether she was on the lease or not she says she's been staying there for the past three months they have a child together. She obviously didn't break into the house. So I don't even know what rights he or the police had to kick her out. Even squatters have rights. Like you, you've heard of squatters rights <laughs> where people will just take over a house that is either abandoned or up for rent or something like that. And, and nobody's living in it. So they'll just stay in there and you can't, you, you have to legally evict the person. You have to go through a court civil court process in order to evict someone from your home. You can't just, you can hope that they would listen to you. If you say, look, I don't want you up in my house, get up out of here. But they legally don't have to leave unless you go through a civil eviction process period and she's been there for three months she said she was there since she had the baby so maybe he said i want you up out of here and she was just trying to gather her thoughts and her things together 
to get out of there and eventually did. But if I was not saying I would want to stay under the roof of somebody that doesn't want me to be there with them. But she said she was in a city that she wasn't familiar with. Maybe just wait until you have somebody that can come and help you and also be a witness and help you to collect yourself, your things, your baby, and then leave versus having to be booted out in the middle of the night or early in the morning or middle of the afternoon. I don't know what time it was, but I just saw this whole situation and I was just shaking my head like, this is crazy. It's very embarrassing as a female to be put on blast like that when you are feeding your baby and you're trying to take care of your child. Now, all the other stuff about their sexual relationship and you know that that type of stuff i have my i have my own personal thoughts about that i know we live in a very loose society where people are just like do whatever and screw whoever and if you have a child in that process then so be it you just you know hopefully can co-parent together if you don't choose to stay in a relationship or if you get married then whatever but there's just so much stuff out here, so much education, and then there's so many negative, horrible things out here to help people to know that this isn't something that you should be doing. But again, they're very immature. They're young. No, they're not teenagers, but they're young. And in today's society, a lot of people in that age range are looked upon more so as teenagers because they really don't have the the mindset and the maturity level that a lot of people that were like in the Gen X and previous generations before Generation X did because the world is just so different now. But they had a baby together. She said he got upset because she had a plan B sent to the condo and he didn't like it because he just wants to be able to screw her I guess whenever and not have any accountability not use any protection and she does not want to get pregnant again I mean my answer for that would be don't have sex with the dude anymore if you're not in a relationship with him and your roommates then go through the process of getting on the lease be an actual roommate have your own space in this in the space and he's paying the bills or what however you choose to do that financially but he in a you know he's that type the type of person that feels like you know if we have kids together then we can have sex too even if we're not in a relationship he completely disrespected her some people are saying that this is her karma because of how she treated his other be i hate the word baby mama but i mean hey that's what it is how he treated his other baby mom and put herself on a pedestal to say like you know i'm i'm the main one i'm the number one and he called her a certified side chick and called her a side b-word and said it several times on the video it, it was very horrible display of immaturity people who should not be having children people who should not definitely be in a relationship and you shouldn't even be screwing each other like leave each other alone co-parent get your child support move on with your life hopefully they will not get back together especially after he called her out and had charges uh, filed against her but after viewing some of the video footage I don't believe she may have even gotten any charges if she was complying with the police officers they were trying to call her over to speak to her to ask her questions and she was being disrespectful to them and you already know a lot of these police officers they're tired they're overworked underpaid they don't even like their jobs they don't definitely don't want to be involved in any personal a drama with relationships and stuff like this so when it's when it comes down to stuff like this sometimes their patience is extremely minimal and if you give them any attitude or give them any pushback then the person who isn't giving them the pushback they're more prone to be on that person's side and it looks like the baby was being more compliant with the police than she was so they just went ahead and listened to him and file charges against her. It's unfortunate, but that's the way I see it. I could be wrong. You all could let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section, but I believe that if she was compliant, and I'm not saying to lie, I'm not I'm not saying to say he assaulted her if he indeed did not. But if he just went, I'm not he, if she just went over to them and spoke to them in a calm way, 
and maybe if she was upset which I believe she was because I could hear it in her voice she did get a little bit choked up just be honest just be real put it out there let them know look he's been harassing me we've been living together for the past three months he asked me to move in we have a baby together he's I, I, I don't feel like doing it. He wants to do it. He's gotten upset with me because I'm just not in the mood. And so now he's picking at me and this and that and the other. I believe that they would have shown more compassion towards her. And they're not going to get involved in a civil situation because when it comes to civil stuff, they'll say, look, you got to deal with that with the civil court when it comes to family issues, child support, visitation, all of that different type of stuff. But if there was some type of situation like that they probably would have said look if his name is on a lease and you're not like we we would want you to leave for your safety if they feel that she isn't safe or if they felt like he was the one that was the aggressor based on what she shared with them they may have had him taken out of there in handcuffs because you already know I ain't even going there, but you already know <laughs> how it can be. So I just believe that she may have gotten a little bit more grace in this situation had she not been hot tempered with the police officers because when they were calling her over, she was like, no, you know, he wants to call the police, then y'all speak to his B ass. Like that's what she was saying. So it's like, she may not have seen that as disrespect, but when it comes to these police officers, sometimes you gotta just like play it up and say, yes, sir, officer. And you know, and just show respect, even if you don't really respect them, like just act like you do for your own sanity, your own safety, and for the benefit of your well being and for the child. But I don't think the baby is a victim. I don't even see her as a 100% victim either. But I do have compassion for her in this situation because she is a new mother. She's young. She didn't have family there. She obviously was asked to be there because she said she'd been living there for the past three months. I don't think that she forced her way in. I believe he wanted her to be there. It was probably like some in-house, you know what? And and it was there for the taking until she just felt like I, I'm not feeling it right now. I'm just, I'm just not. And so it's a sad situation that they put it out here on social media for everyone to see. She didn't intend on doing it. Hers was more so a response because you know how they are these days. If the other person put it out there first, then they feel like they have to explain their side and go and put their side out there also. And that's pretty much what she said. So you guys let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section, but the baby is not the victim. <laughs> and I, I, I can't, ugh, I can't deal when it comes to him. He has had so many controversies recently that I just feel that he's using this situation to try to make himself look, uh, you know, a bit better and put himself in a better light. Like I'm a, I'm a father, I'm a father first, I'm a father always and all this, you know, other foolishness versus him coming out on the stage and saying the stuff that he said, you know, at the, the festival that he performed at a few months ago. But anyway, you let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until the next time, I'm just being beautifully honest.